Hey everyone, welcome back. Oh boy. This is my review of Attack on Titan Episode 24. Entitled, uh... Mercy Raid on Stohes District Part 2. Oh boy. Episode 24. Next week's episode is going to be the final episode of Attack on Titan. Oh, anyway. And I'm the season now because I am not convinced that they're just going to end it here. Alright, honestly. So yeah. Next episode is going to be the end of season one of Attack on Titan. So, whew. now there's going to be actually no actual summary summary in this review because Wikipedia does not yet have the, yeah, I use Wikipedia, fucking sue me. I won't use it for academics, I just use it for shit like this. Um, does not have the summary up yet for episode 24, so basically just going to have to, see, let's keep pointing the episode like I do a lot. Anyway when I can't find a summary. And and it's Attack on Titan, so for me it's actually really easy to recall things. Oh, I use it in other series even if I do really like them. And state what I like about it and what I didn't like about it as always. And my overall thoughts on the episode. So yeah. So basically the main thing is this episode picked up immediately immediately where the previous left off of course with them finding out that Annie is uh the female Titan and there's actually um so the thing with Aaron in this episode, which he can't bring himself, he can't turn into a Titan, he keeps biting his thumb. So much, I thought he was going to bite the goddamn thing off. Seriously, all the crunching you heard and many times he bit down on it, I honestly thought he was going to bite the damn thing off. I really did. Um, but no, he didn't, thankfully, he didn't turn, still turn into a Titan. Well, I don't know, he might be able to use his other thumb, I'm not sure. If, I'm not sure if he's ever oriented between the two thumbs. But... Yeah, but anyways, though, he couldn't bring himself to turn into a, he couldn't turn into a titan yet. It's quickly deduced that his, if his feelings aren't in the, if he doesn't, like, we, or, we already learned that he needs to have an objective, which he does. But does he want to fulfill that objective? I guess that's kind of, part, we learned that that's actually kind of part of it as well. Alright. So... And he doesn't want, because he's still having trouble believing that Annie is the female Titan. And then we get that look, for, uh, and then Mikasa takes a look at him and asks him, Aaron, do you have some sort of feelings for Annie? And that look that she gives Aaron there is fucking priceless. There is so much fucking jealousy in that stare. Oh my god. <sighs> so, yeah, I have to right there. Mikasa was so fucking jealous right there. And I'm not sure if it's so much that Aaron has feeling, like, feelings as in romantic feelings for Annie as misplaced as they would be because he barely knows Annie. Um, or more so that she considers, I don't know, if even if a really close friend, because he barely knows her. Um, I don't know what it is for. Maybe he does consider her to be a friend and that's why he even if it's not like a really close friend, that's why he couldn't do it. But yeah, that's the reason he couldn't turn into a Titan at first. And when the building collapses on him, he's all fucked up. Like he has, he's freaking bleeding all over his body. So many fucking cuts, scrapes, and bruises on him. He has a fucking piece of wood sticking through his heart. Yeah, he's all fucked up. Okay. And at that point, he. Does end up turning into a Titan. I don't like think we actually see him bite on his bite down on his thumb though, even though obviously we know that he did. Because he has to, but unless maybe may, maybe all those bites from beforehand actually counted and he automatically transformed, that could be true. It'd be really cool if since all the blood that was blood, all the time that he bit down on his thumb, it would actually make him right much stronger than previous than before, maybe like number of the amount of times that he bit down on his thumb and, and times it by his power level from 4 equaling a new power level. That, that would actually be really cool. Um, and maybe he might be able to actually beat Annie this time, because remember last time he was winning at first, but eventually Annie started kicking his ass. So, 
So, you know, that, that's kind of why the mission failed in the first place. You know. I see. Yeah, so that's kind of uh, neat, and there's actually a really, in, a, a really a neat little scene in this uh, episode where in which Armin's running after Annie, and he basically shouts, you know, "Are you gonna kill me or something?" And that look on Annie's face kind of tells you that maybe she does have a, have a thing for Armin because she doesn't want to kill him. This could also mean that she might have an ulterior, another ulterior motive that she's not really a mindless monster. And another thing that's kind of interesting is that, I guess it's kind of revealed in this episode what she meant by her bet now begins, is that she, I mean, she, she's going to rampage, period, and no matter where Aaron's at. She's just making a bet that Aaron will survive it. She's not, but, you know, she's like, she doesn't want to kill Aaron, but if Aaron dies, like, oh well. I guess it's like kind of the thing there. Alright, I also thought that, that was kind of interesting as well. Another really interesting scene in this episode is the, the military police, basically the military police and the uh, survey corps confronting each other, and the survey, and Irwin is sending out his survey corps members to fight the female titan, and basically the orders, I guess, from the king were to stay and protect the uh, king, basically, and they're calling Irwin and his squad traitors for this. And Erwin gives them no response, even though they admit, tell him to. Or, and Levy basically comes up. And, he doesn't say the exact words. I forget his exact words. But he basically says, "What the fuck are you guys doing?" You know, like there's a fucking Titan here in behind Wall Cena, and you're worried about the fucking king. If we don't take this thing down, it will kill every single one of us and the king. It doesn't matter if we stay back here. In fact, if we stay back here, it gets even closer, and he doesn't say anything near all that stuff. That's basically what I'm saying. It's just fucking retarded, and it shows you how corrupt that this government in this series really is. It's, it's fucking stupid, alright? I mean, fuck, the female titan was one of the military police. You'd think they'd want to take initiative, too, although it does, I don't think they have 3D maneuver gear. Um, if they did, I don't know why they'd be holding fucking rifles, you know. But, still, though, they could try to set, help set up traps. Our plan which was to trick her and capture her that way. Plan B was to use Aaron, but for a while throughout the episode, he couldn't transform into, into a Titan. So plan C was to actually use uh, Hanji and a few others to capture her with the ropes. And when that happens, I thought she was actually going to die, because she goes down there and attempts to stab its eye when it's still alive, and it has a comeback attack and ends up breaking free, and she... Getting away from it, surviving it, really good, of course. All right, and then of course, right after that, Iron Man turned into a Titan, pretty much. So he turned into a Titan, and, and that's pretty much all the major points. So I had to bring. Oh, well, well, didn't work about it. Okay, now so what I liked about it. The animation was perfect, the music was amazing, the action scenes were uh, incredible, and it was just all around yet another perfect episode on Titan. I'm just saying I might sending it, I might not. That'll depend on if I want to do it when it there. So when it comes out. So yeah, overall perfect up to Titan Titan once again, honestly. Yeah, anyways, overall hope you enjoyed this review guys. See you after guys, thanks for watching. Bye bye.